So this video accompanies uh, SIND.CP and your Canvas page. In this program, we're going to develop our own function to calculate uh, sine. Uh, but instead of doing radians, we're going to do a sine of an angle that's in degrees. So as you know, the one in CMath is going to do radians, right? So this would be a, a new function, and that's what the D at the end, so sine in degrees, sine D. So we've got this set up um, kind of the way we would want it if we were going to use this in another program. So if you're going to plan on using your functions, make sure that you have a set of prototypes and whatever uh, definitions you'd need. Uh, so in this case, this global constant to run your program and put this up in the top. Uh, and then later as you you make this more portable, this would then go into a header file, so a .h file, and then you would do pound sign include, and then you'd use your uh, sind.h that you stored this into. And that would be then linked into your... Um, linked into your project. Then put your, your function in another file that would be sind.cpp and then you would also need to then link that into your project as you go. But let's take a look at our main and then we'll go back and take a look at the function. So our main is fairly simple. We're just going to ask for an angle in degrees and then we're going to see out the sign of that value is and we'll use our function sine d in degrees. Let's see how this the sine function is going to calculate everything. So here's our function. We're going to uh, have a value in radians. Um, we're going to calculate the value of sine and temporarily store it in sine. And then we're going to have a float that's going to change to be alternately positive and negative because we're going to have to evaluate a, a series. So the value in radians is just going to be the degrees times pi divided by 180. And then we can now evaluate our series. So we're going to use the Maclaurin series expansion for sine. And that's the one, again, that has the alternating positive and negative signs. And then we're going to use an if i modulus 2. So when that's true, that means there's a remainder and it would be i is odd. When it's false, it would be mean that there's no remainder and i is even. And then each value, then, we're going to use this function power, and then we're going to use this function factorial. Um, so again, this is just the Maclaurin series, and then it'll give us the, the various terms when we run it. Looking at this series, uh, sorry, looking at this function power, uh, we're going to receive a uh, value and then the integer power that we're going to raise the the value to and then we're going to return a long double so if the um, the p is uh, not zero then it'll go through and raise multiply the value times itself however many times it would take to raise it to the power if p is 0, then this if would be false, and we go down here and just set the value equal to 1, uh, because a number raised to the 0 power is 1. And then this is the same factorial uh, function that we saw in the previous video. So it ties these two together and runs it all. So let's run it, and we'll do 45 degrees. And so then it's going to show us each of the values. So we've got um, the first value, and then as we do the series, you can see it's rapidly converging on the 0.707107 that you would expect for 45 degrees. Um, it's nice to have this sort of stuff in here when you're debugging, uh, but as you go into actually running this program and again packaging it up so that you could use it later over and over and over again, you can always take these statements that you have for debugging and then just comment them out. And then if you need them, you can uncomment them later. So again, this week we're just focusing on some kind of miscellaneous topics just to wrap up the course. 
Uh, thanks for watching.